Okay, hi guys and gals. Sorry I'm a little bit late. I I have my Wi-Fi is really bad today, so I had to switch it to cellular and it took a minute for it to realize that it was switched over to cellular. So here I am. And today we are going to talk about why pregnant women need dates. Uh and so we're not we're not talking about dates like you might go out on with your hubby, though I certainly think that you probably need that too. Um but we are going to talk about why pregnant women need uh why they need to eat dates as in the date fruit. So no, I'm not pregnant. Okay, so why do you need to eat dates when you are pregnant? That's what we're going to talk about. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Kristen from naturalbirthandbabycare.com. That's naturalbirthandbabycare.com. And we talk about all things uh birth, all things baby, all things pregnancy, and especially we talk about natural birth. And um one of the things I am not a doctor, I'm a childbirth educator and I run a website about natural birth and baby care. I am however going to talk about some very fascinating work that some really smart doctors have been doing when they are looking for things about uh what can help what can help moms and babies. So and some of that research has been on date fruit. So again, I'm Kristen from naturalbirthandbabycare.com since somebody asked, I run a website on birth and babies. I have seven kiddos of my own and I have been teaching for a long time uh about this birth and baby stuff. So here we are. Hi everybody in Chicago. Yep, seven kiddos and I love them. Wouldn't take any of them away. So here we are. Let's talk about date fruit. So when I say date fruit, I am talking about like the kind of fruit that you go, oh my gosh. <laughs> so, I am talking about the kind of fruit that you eat. And the reason why date fruit is important for pregnant women to know about is because research has shown that dates can help prevent many many complications when it comes to childbirth. So when we're talking about dates, we are talking about um eating them during pregnancy because you want the effects that they have when it comes to birth. So when we are thinking about okay, Sorry guys, I've totally lost my stream uh, train of thought cuz I've got so many people commenting. So I'm going to pull up my notes here and look at those. Okay. So, date fruits. We want those for birth. And the studies have shown that you get the benefits of them starting at about 36 weeks. So you could probably eat dates throughout your entire pregnancy, but when we think about it um like 36 weeks or so is when the re when the research was done so if you start eating dates in your pregnancy then you're going to get these effects during your baby's birth and they probably have an impact during pregnancy too like a positive impact during pregnancy too but the effects are really for your birthing time so what why why dates why dates because dates are first of all they're incredibly nutrient dense and that might be one of the reasons why um you know why we think about that they have so many effects is because they're nutrient dense but i don't know if there is a reason you know if there's a reason specifically why the date fruit other than the fact that it's just nutrient dense i haven't looked into a lot of the why but i have looked into the what what the effects are and like i said this is actually proven by science so this is what research studies have shown and i'm going to just look down at my notes here for a minute and tell you what um tell you what these study showed dilation at hospital admission was significantly greater for date eating moms so what does that mean that means i'm not a fan of a uh, of any type of exams by the way but it's good to know this information so bless the poor moms who had to go through the exams at hospital admission but what that means is that um dilation which is how open your body is when you have a baby for the women in the study groups who ate dates their dilation was significantly greater when they went into the hospital than the moms who had not eaten the dates so that's one benefit of them 
Okay, 20% more of the date eating mamas had their membranes intact at hospital admission. So what does that mean? That means that it, the moms who ate dates were much more likely to not have their water break before their birthing time began. And that's really an important thing to think of. This is like one of the things that moms are really, really worried about when they talk to me in my, uh, in my birthing classes. I teach online natural childbirth classes at mamababybirthing.com. And what those moms, one of the things they worry about is what if my water breaks? Because, and we've talked about this before on a scope too, but there's like a whole cascade of possible interventions that happens if your water's broken too early. The studies were done from 36 weeks on. Uh, so that's the point where, um, that's the point where you get the where you get the positive effects according to the studies now does it and I don't know like if you were to eat dates before then if, if you would have more positive effects or not but the official official studies were done um, were done from with moms who ate the dates from 36 weeks on so that's what point we're going from but anyways so they were less likely to go to the hospital with their waters broken which as you know if your waters are broken you're immediately placed on a clock and <clears throat> excuse me, they're worried about infection and things like that. So going to the hospital with your water bag still intact is beneficial from that perspective. And also, it gives you and baby a cushioning throughout your birthing time, which is really beneficial for you and baby for a number of reasons, including that, you know, you have that cushioning and, and it's probably a little bit less intense. Another thing that was shown was that 96% of the moms who ate dates were able to, or their labor began spontaneously. So, 96%. That's really huge, especially when we think about the fact that today induction is such a big thing. So, so many women have their birthing time or their labor induced because they didn't start labor on time. And I say on time, like with quotation marks here, because what, what does on time mean? Really, we could talk about that. Um, it's dates. It's date fruit. You can go Google it. <clears throat> so anyways, yeah, so when we talk about like avoiding induction, this is really exciting. 96% of these women went into labor spontaneously. It's, I actually, I have an amount here in a minute in my notes. I'm going to get to it. So just give me a minute on that. <clears throat> so, anyways, 96%. That's really huge because I, I, I don't know any figures off the top of my head for, like, what a typical induction rate is. But my guess is it's way, way, way more than 4%. So, if 96% of them um, are eating or are, are able to have their labor begin spontaneously, that's a great effect. Okay, another really exciting thing about date fruit is postpartum bleeding was significantly less. So that me and this is this is true immediately postpartum and it was also true like overall postpartum. So when we're talking about that postpartum period right after baby's born and the placenta is being born and then we've got uh, then we've got you know there's postpartum bleeding going on. The women who had eaten dates had significantly less postpartum bleeding and actually there's trials that showed that eating date fruits was as effective as a Pitocin shot. So that's also pretty incredible to think about. And then also overall, um, the flow after the baby's born, which is called the locule flow, was less for the moms who had eaten dates. So those are some really, really exciting points. Now the, the number of dates eaten, and somebody just asked this, the number of dates eaten was about three to seven dates, and it, it was depending on size. So I, I think it was actually a weight that was eaten, and I calculated it out. I'm trying to see if I can see how much they ate. So they ate 50 to 70 grams of dates per day, and then also they continued to eat that postpartum, and I, I calculated that out roughly to be about three to seven dates a day. And for me, I was able to find, like somebody just said that they mix dates into their almond milk, and I was able to find that um, at my local like natural food store, they had like these little date bars, which was basically like ground puree date. It's sweet. It's a fruit. It's very sweet. Um, so they and they were kind of like pureed dates, and then they had like roll. They were rolled in coconut. 
um, shredded coconut. It was really good. I liked them a lot. And they also had ones that were rolled in like uh, ground up almond or, you know, kind of like grated almond. It wasn't completely ground into a powder. And I, I'm not as huge of a fan of, of almonds and nuts, but my husband really likes those. So those of you who like almonds might really like that. But anyways, um, dates are, if you're in the United States, a lot of health food store like uh, energy bars and stuff have a date base. Like I'm pretty sure that Lara bars, that's a brand. I'm pretty sure that Lara bars are made with dates. And so if you look at like those more natural candy bars or whatever, a lot of them use dates for the, for the base. Yes, you can make date and coconut balls. So they're really, it's, they're really good and they're really versatile. If you're looking for them at the, at the grocery store, then usually you can find them where you would find raisins and stuff. Yeah, and get them at your farmer's market. So yeah, you can find dates. It's, they're not, they're not as common a, a cooking item in the United States, I don't think, or probably not Europe, but in the Mediterranean um, and also in, um, you know, in Arabic cultures and stuff, there are a lot more. And actually this research, this research came um, out of, I want to say out of Israel. So it's not, you know, it's not as, as common here, but they're, they're really sweet fruit. Like I said, they're really nutrient packed. They're really full of, of minerals. And I guess the most exciting thing is that they, they seem to have such incredible results for a little fruit. And it's, it's like we talk about a lot of things that are old wives tales, but this is really something that's been studied. And like food stuff is, um, is sometimes hard to get studies done on because, you know, scientists don't want to say, oh, fruit or food, especially a fruit, might make a difference. But I, and I guess it's because they're a fruit that they managed to, to merit getting a study done. If they had been a meat, they certainly wouldn't have. Uh, not a positive study, at least. But because they were a fruit, they managed to get this study done. So, and the studies are just, just really exciting to me that these problems that are such big problems, and this is just something so small and so sweet, you know, people don't want to eat healthy stuff, but people like sweet things. So, you know, eating them. Now, sugar content is something, this is something we've talked about um, on Mama Baby Birthing Calls is when I've talked about dates on there is like moms who are trying to watch um, for like gestational diabetes or worried about a big baby or something. That's something that's come up. So I think that's a really valid concern is, oh, well, the sugar content. So my recommendation to those moms is that if you want to make eating dates part of it, first of all, um, do the things that I've got a podcast. You can go to Natural Birth and Baby Care and search for it. A podcast that I did with Lily Nichols. She wrote the book Real Food for Gestational Diabetes. And she talks about how if you eat other things with sugary foods, like you wouldn't eat just dates, but you would eat them with something. That might be where the almonds are coming in. Like the almonds might blunt the effects um, of the sugar spike from just eating plain dates because you're getting that fat and you're getting that protein. Uh, having some coconut, that might help too, like especially if you're eating a fattier portion of the coconut or mixing it with coconut milk. So that can be one thing that you can do to help blunt the effect. But I would... Yeah, <laughs> well, that does sound yummy. Um, but yeah, or the fat can help blunt that effect of that sugar spike. So if you're worried about your blood sugar and the sugar level for that reason, I would definitely monitor, like especially if you are worried about gestational diabetes or if you've been, um, you've been diagnosed and you're monitoring your blood sugar anyways, you might want to do a prick to see how is this impacting me because, of course, what's important is your physiology. But yeah, that's really interesting. Thank you for sharing. So yeah, so you could take out most other sugars. And, and honestly, for a pregnant mom who is deciding to cut down on the carbohydrates and on the sugar level, I would say, you know, that, that I would look, yeah, Billy, we could do it. Actually, we did a, we did a podcast on why the, on why the gestational diabetes diet doesn't work. Or excuse me, we did a scope. You should go to my website, Billy, and, and rewatch that scope. It's on there. Um, but yeah, but but a lower carbohydrate diet sh is yeah definitely a good idea. And if you've had a bigger baby, but I like what what our viewers said there that she's taken out most other sugars and is just sticking with the dates for sweetener. Then you get the effects of the dates and you get that little bit of sweet. I think as pregnant women, you know, we really really want. Um, we really do want that sweet stuff. We have a craving for it. Um, but but pick the stuff that's going to be beneficial to you. So. 
you know, like berries are good for you and are, are relatively low in carbs. So get your sweet treat from some berries rather than a Jolly Rancher or really even another fruit like a banana or something that's just really going to skyrocket rocket blood sugar levels. But eating the dates just has so many benefits and it's so incredible that, um, that I just wanted to share, and I do think that it's good for all pregnant women to find a way to get some dates in your diet every day um, and and just enjoy those those really incredible benefits for your birth. Okay, so the study is, it was in the Journal of Obstetrics and Gynecology in 2011, and let me give you the PubMed number. So if you go to PubMed, you can put this number in and it will bring this study up. So the PubMed number is 2128089. I'll repeat that one more time. It is, oh, my little hovery thing went away. Hang on. Oh, it's going to be mean to me. It's 2128089. Eight zero nine eight nine. That's the PubMed number, so you should be able to go and find it there. Um, and it's Al Karen at Al is that study, and there's a couple more, um, and they cite it within that study. There's a, a couple studies cited within that one, so if you get to that one, it should help you find it. Yeah, I think that's a good one. But there are a couple more studies, too. So that should help you find that. And like I said, I just made some, some points on the summary. Oh, and I've got a couple other notes here that I'll read. So dates are composed of at least 15 different minerals, such as potassium, calcium, fluorine, iron, zinc, 14 types of fatty acids, 23 types of amino acids, at least six vitamins, and dietary fiber. So they're really a nutrient powerhouse. And like I said, moms are more dilated when they get to the hospital, more likely to have their water bags still intact. Um, they're very, very unlikely to need any sort of induction to get things going. There's less bleeding immediately postpartum and less bleeding overall postpartum, and that's three to seven dates a day, depending upon the size. So if you have, like, huge, like, medial dates that are massive, probably only three, but if they're smaller ones, like you might find at a grocery store commonly in the U.S., you might want a few more. So that's the scoop on dates and pregnancy, and I'm going to run because I have to teach my mama baby birthing class now. Thank you, uh, ladies and gents, for being here. Thank you for sticking with us for a few minutes at the beginning when we had to get rid of all the people who were all like, dates? Oh, wow. Anyways, so we're talking about the fruit dates and how much they help. So hopefully that's been helpful for you guys. And tomorrow, I am going to do the scope an hour early at noon because tomorrow is my um, is my going to town day. So I need to leave for town. But I'll do the scope at noon tomorrow, and then uh, I will talk to you then. We're going to talk about RH issues tomorrow. So you have a blessed day today, and I will talk to you tomorrow.